what was, I want to know, all right? This is what I want to know. What do you want to know? What was your first kiss like? Do you have a story? Do you remember? Of course. Of course. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear yours first. Uh, mine was with this awesome tomboy girl that skateboarded as well with me. I was, was like, this one like of the last week. <laughs> yeah, this is last week. <laughs> this is last week. No, this is uh, this is middle school. Mm -hmm. I was like one of the, the cool kids that skateboarded and rollerbladed. You were. Like, I remember. Everybody was either rollerblader or skateboarder. They were not both. So you were. I you were was both. Both. And I was Killing pretty good at both of them. So you were like skating by, like, what's up girl? And then you came back on a skateboard, you're like, what's up girl? And yep. you came back on rollerblades, you're like, guess what? Yup. What's up girl? I'm I do my walking. <laughs> I do both. Look how many modes of transportation I have when I'm in the middle You combine your Nickelodeon moon shoes and your mouth. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you did the moon shoes, damn it. That's a topic of its own. And then uh, you come through with the hoverboard and people are just like, what? You're like, I'm from the future as well. Lexus, bitch. <laughs> no, uh. It was this like really this tomboy girl. Okay. And like I just thought she was really cute, man. So like we started hanging out and then eventually we talked about it, we we're like We should probably like be boyfriend and girlfriend probably. Because <laughs> we're like, hanging out a lot and like we do the same things and then like it it was this is, first this kiss sounds like really cute. So once adorable. we just like really once we cute. decided that, it was like I think it was like that night we kissed. Nice. Like it was just like from decision in middle school. That's how it works. Like once your boyfriend and girlfriend, like it. it's like official. Like you have to hold hands. Yeah. There's like a contract sign. Yeah. There you is. tell all your friends. They all Did know. Did she touch your box? Oh. No butt touch yet at that day. Oh, darn. Not like today. Good. Little middle school I know, people. Right? Right. Very dirty. So yeah. <laughs> it is really dirty. Also, we just had an experience. Do you today. remember about how old you were? So you were like 13 around there? 13, like 14 probably. Yeah, yes, but like, yes. yeah. What's your story? What's your story? Mine yeah. was, this, this is actually a pretty good one, because I was homeschooled all the way up to seventh grade, and then I skipped eighth grade and went to high school. So up to that Freak! point. Freak! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big time, man, big time. Oh, that explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand no, it. Okay, okay. No, so up to that point though, like up to seventh grade, like, I wasn't in public school, so there wasn't like public school is like how you get to meet so yeah, many absolutely. different people, yeah. and you get to choose a person that you think yep. is cool out of all those millions of people. Uh -huh. It's a good mingling ground. I just oh, had yeah. like my soccer team, and then my mom and, and my maybe sister. Maybe a chicken that you kissed. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Plot twist. It's my dog. Was a chicken. It was a dog, and I was just like, hey, Jacoby. Yeah. <laughs> just when you leave your mouth open because you're a little kid, and your dog just goes to town in there. <laughs> No, okay, okay, seriously. So I went to high school. When I went to high school, I didn't know anybody. Um, I didn't have any friends or anything. I had to like slowly make it, whatever. So after a year, yes, it was sophomore year. After a year, I had established myself with people. Uh -huh, you were I, a normal person now, not a weird, like. I was, I was in that transition period still, where I had okay. friends, but they were weird friends, you know okay, what I mean? Okay, all right. Yeah. But I was still like cool with who I was. But anyways, yeah, yeah. point being, I, I got PE class sophomore year. I saw this really cute girl. Her name was Taylor, has no last name. <laughs> but she was super, super you, cute, man. Like she had like a really cute face with like all the little freckles that you know, like all beauty freckles and stuff. Yeah, and a big ass booty, right? And I was like little skinny ass me, one thirty, six foot one, and I was just like, this girl's really cute. So I just like flirted with her a bunch. It was super awkward thinking back about it. Even like a year later, I thought back about it, like when I was still in high school, and I was like, holy, <laughs> this is so awkward the way I would like do things, like try to like flirt with this girl. So you're like, you're so cute. Oh god, bro, dude, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even know what to do, man. You're so she liked me though. We went out and stuff, man. So like, apparently I wasn't too terrible. <laughs> but so long story short, is like we went out for a while, uh, like kind of like that half, like kind of going out thing. And we went to Winter Formal, man. And I remember it was like uh, the best night of my life, man. Because nice. I had never kissed a girl before. She takes me. I never danced with a girl either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She takes me on the dance floor. Jeez. And she does the high school dance thing, and which is like this actual dancing. So she like grabs me yeah, and like pulls me into her booty <laughs> and it's grinding. <laughs> and I'm just like. What? You know, boy. I bet you this kiss was like you were just like. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, I don't know. We dance like three, four songs, and then, and then I'm used to dancing, so I'm like in the like the mood or like the rhythm or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm not like dancing awkward anymore. And then she like, I remember, dude, she like reached back, grabbed the like. Put her hair, hand through my hair because at the time I had long hair. Okay. And then like pulled my head forward as she tilted back. Strong. She'd done this before. I don't know. <laughs> she, she was experienced. Dude, it was like the best moment of my life at that moment. Like I nice. went home That's and adorable. that is the only thing I thought about for like the next week and a half. Oh gosh. I went and told Kurt like in 
immediately. <laughs> like, as you're kissing, you're like, one second. I'm <laughs> calling Bro! Hi, dude! One second! Hi, bro! bro. <laughs> so that was it, and it was hands down amazing. That's a good one. So mine yeah, what's yours, bro? was, so I wasn't homeschooled as a kid, Yeah. but it took me longer to get my first kiss, so. <laughs> I mean, you gotta think, I was a big kid, and the girls didn't want to kiss me back in the day, okay? Let's just be honest, yeah. right? Let's be real. Uh, so I was actually a senior, um, but okay, I was in between 11th grade and 12th grade. It was the summer in between. And uh, I used to be in a Motown band. I was in a, a, a Motown band yes. with, um, with a bunch of other kids, right? Yes. And this was this was a school Motown band, but it was like an after school thing. So we did it during uh, summer too with this really awesome teacher, but he was, he was really cool. So the girl that I, that I ended up, we were, <laughs> We ended up like dating, but like it was like all text messages. We never yeah. hung out, uh, like so unless weird. we were at band practice, yeah, right? Yeah. And something that we would do after every band practice was we would go eat. That's something he was like really cool. You would pay for everybody, right? Oh, that's rad. So we were we after one of the band practices, we went to go eat, and then everyone had left, and I had to <laughs> before I had my driver's license too. I had to wait for my mom to come pick us yes. up. So me and my girlfriend, oh, no. girlfriend, because we never really officially, I don't think, said we were together, but like whatever. We were standing outside of this place called Greek Chicken. That's what it was. And I was just, I was standing there and she was like standing next to me and I think I had my hand like on the lower of her back or something like that. And I was just like, in my head I was like, I w should I kiss her? But I wasn't going to because I was like so nervous, mm. dude. And I was like waiting for my mom. And in my head I was like scared if my mom saw me with the girl. So I was like, in my head I was thinking like, she should probably leave before my mom gets here. So I need to say something to make her, not make her leave, but like but yeah, initiate the conversation and be like, I'll see you later, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then so like, we were kind of like getting to the point you could tell we were both being like, okay, I'll see you later. And then like, I was like, okay. And I, I wasn't, I didn't do the whole like lean in or anything. And then she just went, kissed me and then le legit like kissed my lips and then walked away. And I was just like, so she left and I was just sitting there. I was just, cause I was leaning against this rail and I was just like. <laughs> and then I just remember looking at her, walking away and I was just like. Oh, that's like your first peck. Yeah, dude. Oh, that's it. And I was just like, and then my mom came and I was just like, got in the car and I was just like, how was it? I was like, it's good. It's good, dude. That was my story. <laughs> that was my first kiss, man. I was so like, I what's remember, going on? I remember that's one time. One. So one time, I used to live out in like a little bit more of a an eastern part of San Diego, so it gets a little bit kind of you know thing. Houses are a little bit more spread apart. People mm -hmm. might have horses. Yeah, yeah. Things are a little different. So girls might be a little bit weird. One time there was this girl. I was the skater kid in Lakeside, you know. Mm -hmm. So like, oh man, I can so cool. So like, you so weird. <laughs> and so like, this girl like you know saw me at Circle K or something, if you know what Circle K is. <laughs> it's a convenience store. She's like, you should come hang out of my house and stuff. I'm like, okay, cool. And then she like tried kissing me and her like tongue, like it was just the most oh. vicious, <laughs> weird. I, I literally <laughs> tried it and then I went, what was that? I grabbed my skateboard and my little Slurpee thing and I was like, I, I gotta go. It's like four <laughs> o'clock, I'll see you later. And then it was, it was like, it was so funny because from that point on, from that point on, like she'd see me if she was with her friends, and I could tell that she would be like, I kissed that guy, da -da -da. Ah. and it's like, no, I was sickened by what happened. Like I don't want anything to do with you. You, we were so young. You're like throat punched me. You're doing vicious things like that at that age. So weird. It's like a Komodo dragon. Yeah, like, come here, Ollie. Yeah. Throwing in your weird sticky, you know those sticky hands that people do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These were great stories that I just learned about everybody. Yeah, now I know you guys a little bit more. Hmm. And maybe uh, we can uh, get our first kiss on camera.